What is up YouTube, this is Cool Fun Kevin here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your iPhone as a webcam. So you can stream. As you can see here right now, this is my iPhone and I'm using OBS to record. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that just in here in a little bit. This is a window capture of the phone right now. And as you can see here, I'm going to switch. That's the overlay. And it's pretty good quality. It's not like the best, but webcams are like $80. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is download this app. It's called, okay, it's called Epoch Cam. And I think it's on the Google Play Store and the App Store. So yeah, it is. And Nokia Store. So this will work with Android and iPhone, not just iPhone. So if you download that and then you download these drivers, so you can see here you download them, you install them, and then you download this remote desktop. You click right there and then you download, you click right here. From here and then this should pop up, install that. And once you have both of the things installed, so you click Epcam Viewer, and then this should pop up. You open the app, and then if it doesn't work, I'll show you right now. You click on Mirror, which is the arrow on your iPhone, and then you should pop up, and it should look like this. You can see here that's me, it's Webcam, Subro, and then. Not sure that you could just move it down here. Make sure you don't close it or else this won't work. So now we're on OBS, right? So you click, you make a window capture. If you make a scene, if you don't know how to do that. And then this should pop up right here. It should say window, you click, it should say Epcam Viewer 1280 by 720. And once you have that, you click select region and to make this easier let's move this up here there's like this and this and you don't want that on your video because you're gonna look it's gonna look weird so i think this is a watermark because this is the free version but whatever we're gonna edit that all right there you go so since i only have one monitor this is kind of hard to do so you go to properties Epcam viewer, select the region, make sure you click this box right here, and then you select the region, and then just make sure that this is right here before this watermark, and then this is over here before this watermark. So it'll just be this area, and then you click OK. Once you clicked OK, you can just move this down here, and then for some reason this messed up with my overlay, so let me fix that real quick so now that you have that window capture you should click the preview and your camera should pop up and when it pops up it's not gonna be small it's gonna be like somewhere around here you just click edit and then with this box you just move it around edit it shift you can move it this way any way you want and then if you just move it it's gonna snap to something so let's say I just move it like that. See how it just goes in one direction? So if you don't want it to do that, you just shift go like that. Hold shift while you're doing it. And then stop editing and it should stay. So wherever you want it, make sure you have an overlay because if you don't have an overlay, it doesn't look good. So make sure you have like an overlay. There's a lot of templates online or a lot of templates on YouTube that you can download and just edit it. Just like I did, this is a template right here. So that's basically all you do. All the other stuff should be the same as any other tutorial, the overlay. This is for Twitch, this, this is for streaming. You can use this to stream or record videos. You don't have to stream. So you have your window capture always open. Game capture, if you wanna play a game, you just put the game capture, find the game, click okay, and then just going to be playing in the background so yeah this was a pretty easy tutorial it's not hard to do 
make sure your phone's always plugged into the charger because I don't know how long it's gonna last. So make sure it's always plugged into the charger. The quality's pretty good. It gets kind of blurry sometimes because of the connection, but it is pretty good and it's pretty easy to do. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And peace out. Thanks for watching. Pa Pow. What is up, YouTube? This is Cool Fan Kevin here again with another. What is up, YouTube?